welcome back and today we are going to be making um or i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a storm wars so all you need is to create an island any island really besides the ones that say hub like this says hub hub uh, hub anything besides hub um I, you could just use a, a flat island island texture it really doesn't matter what island unless you have a, like a certain theme in mind like you want snow you pick snow you want desert you pick desert but i don't really care so i'm just going to pick a random island again name it depends on um your storm wars but uh you would do it put something storm wars or sorry storm wars like you just put something like what i'm going to do is i'm going to do chapter two storm because I have a chapter one Storm Wars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys in a second. But it's quite easy to make Storm Wars maps. There's a few different ways. Three, basically. So we just have to wait for it to load. There we go. Now we're going in. Okay. And now I'm going to go to Creative. And some of the first things you want to do is uh, figure out what buildings you want. So that's just going to be a take quick. Then you can go to prefabs or galleries. Making your own buildings takes twice the amount of time or triple the amount of time. Uh, I tend to just use prefabs because they're already built. It's just easy. They take up way more space because like each one costs like 3000 But if you build the exact same thing, it'll cost like 1000 because it glitches out and the pieces cost more for some reason but all you have to do is pick certain things that you want I mean for me I want chapter 2 so I'm going to click some chapter 2 items like uh, uh let's see where what's a chapter 2 place not that coral castle let's see so I'll pick for me I'm going to do something like this if I pick that oh wait didn't work alright uh there see so I put that one there I probably could have done a bigger one, but it really doesn't matter. I'm going to put that one there. Uh, this is also, that's the same thing. Dusty, don't need that. Uh, I could grab the, this base out of there. I'm just going to aim prefabs for my map that I'm doing. If you get prefabs, you're yours. Um, I don't know if I want any of that. Yeah, I'll grab that one. So I'm just going through grabbing stuff I want and stuff I don't want yeah but to make this is not really making this is more making your map than like actual like building I just want three more let's see retail rows in chapter 2 I'll grab a I guess I'll just grab the shop <laughs> rig oh the rig was a great location I prefer that to come back Let's see, what else? Um, this is chapter 3, I don't want chapter 3, I want chapter 2. Factory, do I want the factory? Eh, why not? Now I just need one more. And it will be... Weeping Woods. There you go. So now that I have my things, and what you do is... You know what? I mean, if you're trying to get exact, you'll go exact, but all I want to do is make sure they're on the ground level. If you want, if your building has a basement, you need to place something above too. Like you can place these up there, but I'm not going to just because it'll waste time. But what you want to do is you want to grab a floating uh, platform. I can show you guys that in a second where it is. Alright, right here. See, so I place a building down. And you place them all down. Make sure they're not touching. And I'm not giving them too much space. You probably should give them more space. But again, it's up to you and your preference. But what you want to do is you just want to give your... You want to give it space somewhere in the middle. Like, see, I know I'm somewhere in the middle just because I went basically straight down. So you see, I'm just placing them out 
about it doesn't really matter for me but if you guys are making a map like a that say you want to make a tilted storm wars you want them spaced out a little closer a little like neat looking i don't really care so i'm just putting them randomly because this isn't going to be one of my better maps it's just going to be a map and this is this is really the part that doesn't matter all right next thing i normally would do so this is what i normally would do is i would normally grab floors from the gallery section and I usually click terrain and vehicle and right now I'll just do terrain and terrain you have different types of terrain uh, you can see they have the labels and everything you can figure out which ones are which quite simple uh, usually I think this is the one that you want yeah this one then I usually click these two and if I want to make pathways I click all, all of these stuff but that's, I'm not going to do that because it takes too much time and it, re it really doesn't matter for this map. And the second thing I do is, if, is connect roads. So from experience, the roads you want to click, by the way, you go to vehicles that click on this one and then open. The ones you want are the smaller ones like this and not the big ones like uh, this. You don't want those ones, then just place that down. You want these because there's more options for this. If you look here, there's only that option and a straight option. There's no other. Whereas here you have this option. Put that there. This option. Put that there. This one. This one. And there are, I think there's like uh, a few more you could place. And the next thing you want is you want to make sure you grab that one too. And you place that there. There's also a few other pathways you can do as you see. And then after you do that, you want to press, uh, usually I, you press the sides first to connect roads. You want to make sure the roads are like spaced out from the road. So like right here would be where the road would actually be. Not on the actual map, because the actual map would be more like here. But, but you see, you just place it down. And then you copy it. If you want to copy it this way, you click this way. You want to copy it this way, you go this way. And that's how you make a road. Now what you do is just merely determine the size you want. This could just be a one lane road, like that. Or you can uh, make it a two lane, four lane, it doesn't matter. I tend to do this because it gives more space and it looks a little better. You see it looks a teeny bit better. Just have to get out of the loading screen. There we go. See that looks a little bit better than normal just because it has a little bit more space. And then you just copy this process the entire time for all the roads. And then you to make a turn, you merely just put, uh, put this one down right there. Very simple. Place it that. You want to stop it, place this one. Quite simple. And this one is not as useful. Uh, you could be able to put that here like this. Um, I think that'd be more like into like a, if you're trying to make a parking garage or something, that might be useful. Uh, not incredibly useful and not useless either. It's really just there. Now, uh, next thing you want to do after you get all the roads done, I'm not going to do that because again, I don't want you guys look at me making the whole map. I'll do that in my time, the roads. I'll show you how to make the loadouts now in the settings. So the first thing you want to do for loadouts is you want to go to devices. And then you can either look them up or I just merely scroll through until I find it starting at the top. And what I, this is one way to do it. One way to do it is you click display your spawn pad. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, here's the flight platform right there. If you guys want to hover platform, so that's what you want to do if you want that. And then I grab. Where is it? This one. And I think I passed the other one. Yeah, I passed the other one. I'm looking for item granter. It's usually like a brownish color. See, I can't find some squishy. Uh. Item, oh, item, uh, spawner, uh, granted, there we go. So that's what, these are the three things you need. Next, you want to place them. And 
Nah, you put them wherever you want. You put this wherever you want. The other ones don't matter. The other ones can go wherever you want. For, for just context, I'm just going to spread them out a bit. Show you. Okay. I want that one right there. Okay. Now, this is how you, uh, this is my way of doing it. It's, uh, I think it's a little better. Okay, that's good. Alright, so get rid of the phone. And what you want to do is you want to go press uh, E or X or whatever button it is. And you want to go to not the basic options, but the all options. And you want to go down. Uh, any allow class, don't really change any of this. Just leave it as B. Use the ion start the, unless you're making a spawn room. I'll just keep it on. Then turn this one off. That'll make it invisible in game. Um, audio doesn't matter wherever you want. And what next one you want to do is you want to press what player spawn on transmit on channel one. And then you want to go over to this one. And you want to stay on this options. And you want to start when round starts. You want to turn this on. You want to go down to 1, 2, 3, or 4 seconds. Any of those. I usually do 2. It's nice. And then you... This doesn't matter. And none of this matters. Uh, this one matters. Turn this off. Turn this off. Uh, you can keep this on. This is for preference. Same with this. That's preference. Um... Uh, let's see, start time, three seconds, that doesn't matter at all, because that won't happen, because it's, it's invisible. Uh, sound also doesn't matter, like, uh, where is it, right here, sound effects, I keep that on just because it's easier that we're getting rid of it. Uh, police sound, none of this really matters, like, you can see all these, just scrolling a little bit, none of this matters. And then, here's what, uh, the one that matters is, oh wait, no. Alright, when completed on, transmit on channel 1. Yes. And actually, I messed up a bit. This actually has to go off. Sorry. That's my bad. And then you want to go to... Let's see. Where is it? Uh, start when channel 1. Yes, that's good. Yes, alright, so that's done for that one. So what this does is when you spawn there, you transmit on channel 1, which go to here, which turns that on for 2 seconds, and it will send it to this one, which really should be in the ground, uh, just a little, little bit. And what you want to do here is go to the, all of them, and name all the games start, uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, triggering player, don't change that. I put it on keep inventory because sometimes, for some reason, we do this. It sometimes doesn't work. I don't know why. But you keep all, you grant all items. All oh, merch, change that one. Always ground cycle, yes. Uh, yeah, this is really, this doesn't matter. Uh, give extra ammo, I keep that on. Stop, yeah. Ground timer, no. Turn that off. Uh, let's see. Grant item when receiving form two. And that should be it. Yes, that's it. So now we're going to add an item. Any item. We'll just uh, pick this one. And this one, and that one. So you just drop them in. And by the way, you can drop other stuff too, and it'll take it like, uh, you could uh, drop this, you could drop that, that, you can even drop, uh, mats and ammos. Like, like, the, it'll take any of it and grant it to you. Let's see. Sometimes it won't take it up at first, but yeah, it will. Alright, so now that this is done, and you'll get this stuff when we start the game. Uh, next is really the storm, because you just repeat this process. And you want to make sure, by the way, when you make a second one, you want to switch. Uh, I When I make the first one, I just copy it. But you want to switch it just up to 
most of the time. So this would be channel two. Wait, no, this would be channel three. So if I'm gonna make a second one, it'd be channel three for this one. This will be channel four, and this will have channel three and four. And you just keep that process over and over again until you have the desired amount. And you can add as many as you want, uh, or rather, you can make up to <laughs> 500. So you can make up to that would be 250. So you make 250 different loadouts. So next is the storm, because now you know that to make your map, you know how to build it. You grab the stuff, repeat that process, build it all over again, look nice. You know the terrain, and there's this to make the loadouts. So next you want to do is you want to go to creative devices. And you guys probably saw it earlier, and it is the advanced storm controller. Place that in any of the spots. And the advanced storm beacon. Now... There are two ways to make the storm beacons work, as far as I can tell. One, you place this down anywhere, usually in the middle. So I'll look in the middle, and the middle's right there. So I'll just go forward a bit and place it right here. Next is you want to place these ones. You know, always place one above it, like right here. And you want these two to be the exact same size. I'm just going to put it right there so it's closer. All right, and now what you want to do is you want to go to this one, go to all, yes, yes, uh, this doesn't matter too much, I don't think, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can, uh, I'll put it on custom, doesn't matter. So you want this to make sure it keeps out of all your builds, like, yeah, I'll show you. This be the range should be way out of builds. You see it right there, going all around, and that's where the first storm will spawn. And it's out of all my builds, so it's perfect where it is. So next, uh, because I got that done, delay time. I usually do five seconds. Uh, fish behavior doesn't really matter. Uh, bounds two hundred. So that means if uh, actually that in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is, you don't really have to change much on that. Just make sure it's out of all your builds. And then you want to go here. Keep it on one. And you want to match the th this one with that one. So that was 200, so this is 200. Keep all this, it really doesn't matter. Now here's a thing you can do. You have move to beacon, the two choices. And what this does is, you have it move to beacon, right? And you have it right here. Then regardless of L, if then I go over right here, place this down, go in the settings, press 2, and just say I went to 0. Then the storm will move from right here all the way right here. That's one way I do it. And it'll be guaranteed to be right here. It will not move anywhere else. Or, as I think a lot of, uh, a lot of storm maps do, is you do this, you click on it, you go down, and you press move, remove randomly. And then, this is the move distance. You don't want this exceeding the max that was set on the other one, which was 200. So you can't make this one go 300, because that would break the map. So what you want to do is just make sure it's anything. For the first storm, which is usually just half the first one, so the first one's 200, you make it 100. You don't want moving a lot, so I just keep it on 5, because that's all that matters see it's 200 but this doesn't really matter so move five that's good so then what I do is I copy one put it right there buff that up one buff that up one nerf this one down to 100 move randomly five five sometimes you'll change it up and down I'll just give it five five click it done next one put it right there three you go down to 75, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I usually just go hass on this one, so 50. And then that's all good. I keep it at 2 for the third storm, too. On, on the fourth storm, I would keep it, I'd make it to 5, too. And then randomly, this time I always go up to 10. I always expend it to 30. So this means it can move anywhere between 10 to 30 meters. And I'll keep it on 40 meters. And boom, that one's done. 
And then you make another one. Put it right here. Go into settings. Increase it. I 20 or 30. Or you go lower than 10. I'll just do 10 just because I don't want that many storms like end game better. Increase this to 5. Increase that to... Oh, I've got... You should probably increase all these to a minute. Just about. This one all matters in how fast the storm is. You have to check it first. Move randomly. Uh, I keep... I tip this one to 75 like that. And then I make one more, which will be the final one. So you want this 0, 5. And I put 2 minutes at 30 seconds. I have a wait time at 50 seconds. 10. Move randomly. 40 at the minimum. 100 at the max. And there you go. <coughs> and that pre that's pretty much how you make a Storm Wars map. The... There's one other way to make a spawn pad and stuff, so I'll show you guys that one real quick. This is the other way, a lot more limited than uh, the other way I just showed you. It was in my other video too, and that is uh, where's the pads right here. So you can have up to 50 teams, and this will be for each team. So for that, you have to change the other setting. So here's what you do: you just grab it, place it. Go in the settings, all of them, team one, grant items on respawn, doesn't matter, I mean, because the, I mean, the players won't respawn if it's Storm Wars, so that doesn't really matter. Um, grant condition always, uh, on grant behavior, uh, keep all, again, I just do yeah, that just because, you know. <clears throat> uh, visible during games, no, make sure that's no. Bonus weapons, yes. All this is stuff that's overrides. You don't need to change any of that. Uh, yeah, overrides, overrides. I think the rest should just be overrides and nothing else you really need to change. Yes, nothing else you need to change, it looks like. Okay, so you click OK. <clears throat> and then you just merely add items again. Because the other ones are 100. I don't know which one you will get. I'll just click this one. Or you may get this. So, see, put it down, boom, and that gives it for only Team 1. So, if I was on T2, one grant to me, and you got that other one for Team 2. And you can do that up to 50, because there are 50 teams, as you can see here. <clears throat> That's the other way you can uh, add loadout. loadouts. Very restricting, and it's a little more annoying to get rid of the items. I prefer the other way. Uh, where I put the spawners right over here. This way, it, it has a lot more steps, but overall, it's easier to change. <coughs> Usually, on my maps, I like to mix it up. So, what I would do is uh, I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to press clear items just to reset it. <coughs> and I'd put it on all. And what I do is I'd add the items that I don't want to do over and over again for each single loadout, like wood, materials, ammo, and uh, so, yeah, that's really just it, and traps if you want them, so traps will be here. Right here. <coughs> so what you do is, throw that in. Boom, and every player will get that. So you don't have to keep adding them for every single loadout. <coughs> so, after this, what you want to do is go to Island. Uh, all, that it doesn't matter, free for all. Um, spawn limit one. Uh, rounds, how many you want. Team relation if you do it. <coughs> During the first way, you want to have this every round. If you don't do it, it doesn't matter. Small limit, make sure. Uh, I usually do 15. 15 minutes. Um, win condition, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last bit standing, turn that on. Join progress. Swan next round. Uh, yeah, that's all for here. Uh, <coughs> If you want to make it night, change it here. Uh, no, this really matters. Yes, yes, 100%. Uh, depends if you want it or not. 
off, off, off. Change it if you want, change it if you want. Keep all these on. <clears throat> and, uh, where is it? Uh, right here. <coughs> I usually turn this one off. I usually turn this on. I turn this. I keep that on. Uh, I turn this off. Glider deploy. Then I scroll down to here. 50. Uh, 50. And you just keep that process going for all of it. <coughs> and then you want to go here. Um, chase that down to like 8 seconds, 7 seconds. Um, where is it? Right here. Health. Put it on health. Eliminations. Um, eliminated. <coughs> I usually do, um, uh, where is it? Uh, ah, damage dealt and damage taken. Then to start it, you want to start the round. See, spawning here. Give it two seconds. One, two. Boom. Got the loadout. Got the materials. See, have all that stuff. That kind of went in the ground, I think. That's kind of weird. So then you want to wait for the storms. You see, see how fast it is. So what you want to do is you want to go over to it, and you want to miss. Slow it down until you can outrun it. You want to outrun it, because that's what you need. So if this one's too fast, it will outrun me. If it's perfect, I can outrun it. See, I can outrun it. As you can see, I can outrun it. So it's pretty much good. And now you want to do this for all your storms. Uh, make sure they're all good. Except for the last one. The last one needs to go extra slow. Because it'll get that part will always get like late game and everything. It's always slower. And yeah, that's basically it. As long as you know the storms are good. See, just testing it right now. So I need to go to that site actually. Make sure I can outrun it. See, you can outrun it. It's a little fast. So I normally make this one slower just because it's a little fast. But you can outrun it. Because in a fight, you'll be fighting. See, so like, you get up to attack the guy, and you'll be in storm, so you have to go, and he might hit you in the back, you might hit him in the back. It's annoying, so you might slow it down. <coughs> and see, this will take extra long. Oh, oh, wait, this is the minute one, so after this one, it should be extra long. Unless I did change times. I might have done it wrong on accident, but... See, you can outrun it, and just stick with it. And you see, it's random, because the actual storms were like right here at the foot, but it's all the way over here. So that's the one way, which is the way a lot of people do it. So you can still mine out, build using your mats, everything, and at the end it will show you how much TNT dealt, eliminated, etc. And I'm just gonna die because it's end circle. See, I died. Came in it because I have last minute standing on. And there. Shows you all your stats. And that's that's pretty much it. If you want health first, that's important because you don't have health first then it'll not actually work correctly. It'll go by, like, 
Say you put eliminations first, not health, the health would be outshadowed by the eliminations, so people on most eliminations would win. Not the first who was the last one standing. Anyway, that's how you build the Storm Wars. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's multiple ways you can do it. That's This is the newest way I found out, and uh, a better way I found out. And I, I might, I'll probably post another one again when they change the settings, because my first one, it was all this, because that was basically the only way you could do it, more or less, or have individual spawners. But now they've changed it, you know how to make the terrain, mountains and everything, you guys should know how. It's just how much time you want to put in, how much, like, you don't even have to do, put in roads, you can just skip that whole part if you don't want to. Uh, if you only want, like, one storm, you just go to say, you put the basic one down. That's it. It's all you down. If you want the one storm, you go to basic. Just go to sage right here. One storm, n meters, five, zero, doesn't matter. Get the times right. This all doesn't really matter that much besides the starting distance. But it's the end distance. The starting distance yeah, would be the other one. But that's how you do it for a single one. And that's pretty much how it is. Like, if you want to make these buildings yourself, I got to really go look for one that doesn't that costs more than it should. Yeah, right there, 136. But if I copy it, it'll cost four. You see it, plus four. But if I minus it, minus four. Minus this one, minus four. But yeah, see, 136. It just glitches out. No idea why. But it has everything, so that just added 100 for no reason. But if you actually made this exact thing, it costs less. Much, much less. But look, 136. 7, that's probably normal. 7, 7, 7. Uh, 3, 77. That won't cost 77. See, all I have to do is look for the things to change that will cost a lot. 3, 3. This one might just not cost a lot too. There's a poster. I wish the poster cost. I can't see. Oh well. There's also the pipes in the middle. I guess supposedly you can get rid of those. Um. Let's see. Uh, three, three. Uh, there's about to be something in here. You just have to look far enough, and you'll find some that cost extreme amounts. Although this one looks pretty good, but you didn't glitch out that much for this one. Uh, up here, all this good? Yeah, all this good. So actually, it glitch out this time for a lot. Yeah, right here. See? You have to look individual by individual. It could be any of them. 400. See, that would be 400. be 8. <clears throat> Anyways, that's how you make a Star Wars. Pretty basically. I wasn't going to make the whole thing because it takes too time. Uh, like and subscribe if you want, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.